Checking in with my daily update. I uh, did my first uh, cook along today using my new uh, technology, my new device. Uh, this is it, basically. I don't think I've shown it on, on a previous thing. It's called a Stream Deck and works in conjunction with uh, something called OBS, which basically means, as I said before, I can bring different streams together. And it is really cool. A uh, few, a little bit clunky today. We're just getting used to doing it and using it, but. Um, I think it's going to make a, a big difference to certainly a couple of presentations. I'm actually doing a different, I'm doing a, a regular presentation tomorrow for a group of sales team, um, a sales team within um, an organization that we've worked with a lot through over the last couple of years with a, with Gen Healthy Minds. It's a very different team. It's not early careers. It's just, just a team um, and they've got a big target to hit by the end of the year and they, they want a bit of a kind of a motivation boost and they, um, so motivation but also some techniques so it's not just about we hey, here's get yourself rah rah up for it for the next uh, 90 days it's much more about yes that but also what are the strategies that we can deploy that are going to help us sustain and maintain those high levels of motivation and engagement and uh, normally when I present that I would have it all in the background or I'd do it that way but I'm going for a slightly different approach today and um, using this which will um, hopefully um, it'll be a little bit different, but it'll also, I think, enhance it slightly as well. There's no point in just using technology for the sake of using technology. It has to have a purpose. And uh, I think that this is going to make it easier for me as a presenter. But also, um, I think it'll make a difference to the experience as well. This one is through Teams, which isn't my favorite platform to present through. And it's also a, kind of a hybrid session for them because they've got two rooms, one in Manchester, one in Reading and uh, there'll be a few people dining in remotely, only about 35 on the call, I think. But because of that, um, there's another element of the challenge here, which is to bring everyone together, whether you're remote or um, in person. And obviously I'm beaming in remotely as well. So it's gonna be an interesting experience. And um, I feel I, about two hours ago, I felt really unorganized and un underprepared for it. I spoke to Mike earlier on to get a bit of um, support with how we're gonna put this one together. Um, and uh, I feel like now I'm ready to go and, and excited about it as well. So looking forward to that. That has kind of dominated my day today, presenting uh, two and a half, three hours earlier and also prepping up for this session. Uh, I've done some coaching calls today. I've got more to go actually. I've got another two sessions coming in in a minute, um, which means I haven't spent as much time today on the Portugal work as I would like to have done. I need to make sure I'm, est I'm establishing a routine where I'm in that and I'm doing it every single day now for the next uh, 10 days because uh, that's all I've got left. So there we go. I feel like I'm just about on it and looking forward to presenting this session tomorrow. In fact, I think I might have two sessions tomorrow. Yes, I have. I've got two. So I've got my cook along tomorrow as well, my 30 minute version. Um, just having a look at my calendar here and that's in the afternoon. So I've got those. I've got those two. And um, yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> anyway, there we go. It's my update for the day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Give it a like, subscribe to the channel and check back in again tomorrow for another daily update. Bye for now.